I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but there are some massive waves just down here. It's absolutely massive. It's going gangbusters. And not only that, where I am today, there's a blowhole that you can stand on top of. And <laughs> there's a cave just down below where you get a good view straight through with the waves coming straight at you. It's really cool. I want to show you everything that this area has to offer. This is Remarkable Cave and Crescent Bay Track. Come down to the Crescent Bay track today, which is on Tassie's east coast on Tarakana, the Tasman Peninsula. It's a spectacular bit of coastline, especially when you've got all these rolling waves coming in. And while I love a spectacular piece of coastline, there is nothing quite like taking it to the next level. So the forecast had four meter swells, and I've shot four meter swell before and it's just incredible. If you want to see a video on that, check out my uh, epic 24 hours at Lion Rock. I'll post a link in the description. Last time I was here, it was probably about a two meter swell and the waves were pretty good. But I saw some, uh, some cliffs and some rock formations that I thought would be spectacular. Today, I'm hoping that they're gonna be good. I'm sure they will be, even if they're not uh, meeting my expectations. If you look behind me there, like the waves are pretty damn good. It really is an easy walk from the car park to Crescent Bay, which is about one, one and a half hours. And there are plenty of lookouts and stops along the way, such as this one. Look at that. The first thing I need to do is make sure I've got a polarizer because the sea foam is insanely white and it'll just blow all your highlights straight up. Just spectacular. I'm gonna hit it with a long lens now. G'day. How you going? Good, how are you? So as you can see, I can pick out little scenes within this larger epic scale scene and these waves when they're hitting the rocks are just blowing up I particularly love this one here and you can zoom right in across the other side of the bay I can get that focus and see those waves coming in, heading towards the cliff ever so slowly. Oh, look at this one coming, nice. So to capture the waves properly, we need to go at least one eight hundredth of a second, which means I've got to drop my aperture down just to let in enough light if I really want to go that low ISO. I can probably push the ISO up to 400 but you know, that'd be it. Maybe 800 if I really needed to. When you zoom right into the waves, you can see this beautiful roll with an aqua color. It's absolutely stunning. 
And if you get in close enough, you can even get to see those individual bubbles in the foam. But you've got to wait for the right wave. It's such a perfect spot because we get to see straight along the line of the waves. Which means going vertical, amazing. Watch this wave here. This is going to just roll all the way along this really nice curve. It's a matter of just getting it in this shot. Outstanding. enough for now. We'll head on to the next spot. I could stand here all day. This isn't even the spot I wanted to photograph. Can't wait to show you what's around the corner. Mangan blowhole. I reckon, whew, I reckon it's about 10 metres down. This is tiny little opening down the bottom and the water's just pushing through like someone's turned on a hose. It doesn't blow water up unless you know you've got really rough seas. But this sea spray that just comes up, whoa. You're not likely to get another view like this anywhere else. Far out. The waves are just pummeling down there. That's amazing. One of the best and worst things about Tassie is its weather. On any given day, it could be sunshine, perfectly calm, and then literally in the same day, it can go to intensely wild, life-threatening weather. But the good thing is with Tassie, if it's wild in one spot, you can usually find another place that's not quite so bad without worrying too much about having your life threatened by the weather. Finally made it to my destination. It's really only about half an hour's walk, but with all my stops along the way, <laughs> about an hour and a half, because uh, the waves are just so incredible along here. And if you can see behind me here, this shoreline where the, the water's coming up onto the little shelf there and then rolling off. And then behind me over this side, this length of cliff all the way up to an island just out here. There's just so much to look at. I'm going to go a nice wide shot to start with. You can see this vertical line all the way up to the island. If I do that as a vertical composition up here, that's going to work really well. And the, with the shoreline snaking in and out like this, it gives something for the eye to follow all the way out and, you know, throw in some spectacular waves and some uh, kelp and some crystal clear blue water. I think we're on a winner. Those colours are beautiful. So my plan was to do a vertical shot, but once I saw the colours of the, the hillside with the water, I just had to go uh, landscape. And it's great because you've got this really nice curve that comes all the way around. and. It really sets the scene. So all I need to do is wait for a decent wave to come and smash into the cliffs 
but I've also got that incredible light hitting the hillside and I don't want to miss that either. So it's a matter of sitting here waiting patiently. So no doubt I'm going to take a few hundred photos. So when I get home I'm going to pick out the best one and here it is. So now I've got my wide shots. I'm going to go in closer. I think I need to find another spot. This is the sort of place I can spend all day just taking photos till the batteries run out just spectacular and powerful and mind-blowing. Looking at the post and just being like, why on earth do you think that This location is fantastic and the waves are absolutely incredible, the colour of the water and everything. But of course I've come out here expecting massive seas. Uh, that's clearly not happening today. The waves are still mind-blowing and it's so powerful and I've been tempted to just walk away sometimes. Wow. <laughs> what was I just saying? Oh my god. The light here is just beautiful right now. So as I was saying before I was overtaken by the incredible display, um, you have to manage your expectations. And the thing is, it doesn't matter how good you think it's going to be, it's probably not going to match that. But the important thing is, is it's those expectations that have got you out the door in the first place. So really, who cares what it's like when you get here? The seas aren't as big as what I was hoping for, but I've got some really lovely light just over there on the side of the cliff. These waves are just pushing up and over. You know, you've got to wait for it. But when it comes, boy, does it come. Now, I do want to talk to you about this composition I've got. This is essentially what I'm taking a photo of. So I've got the, the tops of the grass here. Over here, you've got the beautiful light on the, the hillside. Just stunning with the oranges of the rocks and the greens of the trees. And then coming down here, maybe not quite so much in the, the frame, I reckon to about here. I will go in closer but at the moment this has just got me. Mm -hmm. 